Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to talk about a very sweet but bitter topic. We're going to talk about the sugar and its presence into the modern food. Yes, sugar is present everywhere and sometimes you don't even have a clue about it. That's a very important topic that I wanted to talk about because I started to realize that the regular sugar has been replaced by one even worse. But let's start with the beginning of the topic. Why the fibers and proteins started to disappear from our plates and have been replaced with sugar? Did you ever wondered why your morning cereals feels more like candies than a balanced breakfast? That's a good question. Because if you take a regular brand of cereals, it tastes way more sugar than it tastes something healthy. And that is because the industrials started to work on replacing all those benefits nutrients inside the food with sugar. The reason is that sugar became really cheap to produce. In the past it was a luxury good, now it is completely the opposite. It is so cheap to produce that it's better to put this in the food in order to gain volume and to save the better ingredients. The result is that it helps to increase the benefits of the companies, but also it makes you way more addicted to their products, because sugar is a very powerful drug. What is the outcome of this kind of decision for our health? Well, the processed foods nowadays are as nutritious as a handful of candy. They don't bring you any benefits, just empty calories. Yes, you heard that right. But it doesn't stop there, because if you take, by example, the bread, it's getting whiter and whiter because the flour is being depleted and mixed with additives. If you take a bread from the past, they were solid, full of cereals, and the skin of the cereals were still inside the bread. So if you took a bread from the past, you throw it in the floor, it would almost make a hole in the floor. But if you take a modern one, you toss it to the floor, to the ground, it's gonna bounce almost because the new kind of bread are spongy and that shouldn't be the case. Trust me, a good bread is absolutely not spongy. It is quite hard and fill you with all the nutrients, but also make your stomach feel the satiety. So that is the difference. The one before had some other nutrients, some vitamins and some fibers, and the, the, the sugar were only from a few slices. But nowadays, you can eat the full loaf and still feel appetite to eat something else not counting the things you are topping the uh, bread with. That is also adding some calories because you eat more slices. And what about the cookies from our childhood? 20 years ago, they were containing some complete flaws and some other um, products that were not completely whitened or just modified. If you take the same brands of cookies, and you look at the weight from the same package, by example, the Little Princess. If you just take these and check at the weight, you would see that for the same amount of cookies, for the same packaging, the weight is now lighter. Why is that? That is because in the past, the flour they used were full wool grains and now they are bleach and mixing with additives, but on top of that, they replace big amount of flour with sugar. And sugar is lighter than flour. That is why the same cookies 20 years or 30 years later are completely different. They are not the same, not the same taste, but also not having the same kind of effect on your body your kids will have way more uh, difficult to maintain their weight as if you were eating in your time. Over the past 20 years, the prevalence of obesity has increased by nearly 40% globally. That is one of the reasons. 
because the food we are eating is getting more filled with sugar and less with proteins and fibers. That is like a small difference, but it makes a huge impact on your nutrition and on your body. So a question that it could raise would be, what are the effects of all the sugar on our health? Because in the end, if we eat the same and every product are filled with more sugar, then we eat more sugar, even if we try to be careful about it. So brace yourself, it is not pretty. Excessive sugar is a ticking time bomb for our bodies. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart diseases, and the list goes on and on and on. Sugar is like that fun but toxic friend. It makes you laugh and entertains you at the moment, but in the long run, it drags you down. All these kind of diseases are not things you mess with without losing some feathers in the process. Diabetes is something you always struggle with all your life if you start to have it. Same with other kind of disease in that way. You can improve them, you can work on it, but often they will be there waiting for you to make one wrong step again and jump on your back in order to hit you. The thing is, I try to stay clear of sugar for 90% of my diet, except some treats here and there. But even then, it's lower in sugar and better in quality in order to have more nutrients in it. But I think life is too short in order to not have any pleasure from time to time. So lower sugar, more taste, more quality, but still some sugar. Beside that, I'm consuming from time to time some processed foods such as protein bars. And I started to realize that they contain sucralose. That is kind of a new thing that we start to watch. I watched a few, I started to analyze it with an app that checked the content and I started to check all the proteins by all the candies or whatever you can find on the market and basically sucralose is present everywhere. That is why I decided to do this video. Because people think like, oh it's fine, I'm staying clear of sugar, so I don't have that problem. The problem is sucralose is everywhere. You can even find it into fake uh, dairy products like fake milk with almonds or soya or these kind of things. Every dieting product might contain some. They are low in calorie, but they have sucralose in order for you to have the taste of sugar, but not the effect. Well, that's what they want you to believe. Because sugar is clearly the enemy, everyone knows it. But a new enemy appeared on the supermarket shelves. The thing is that this enemy is even more dangerous than the previous one. It can make you believe that it is your friend but it will stab you in the back as soon as you don't pay attention. It is really sneaky and treacherous. But why is that? If it's low in calorie, it's necessarily good for your health, no? Well, the point is that scientists are now researching more and more the effects on the human body and the results are really not bright. You can think about disruption of your gut microbiome, weight gain and other delights. The sucralose is also interacting with your insulin. It is not because it's not a clear sugar, a real sugar, that it doesn't make your insulin spike up. Low calorie sweeteners are not necessarily your friends and even, I would say, they are often not your friends, mostly your enemies. It might, by some tricky way, impact your weight gain even more than real sugar. And guess what? We don't even know all the long-term effect it has on your body. Fun, right? Nevertheless, as I always say, knowledge is the key of your progress. And that is why you're here. Not all is lost in this battle against the food industry and for our health. Nutritional education is our superpower against this sugar invasion. Learning to read labels, understanding what we eat and making healthier choice is like having a GPS to avoid food traps. Plus, it is good for our waistline and for our health. In the next weeks, 
we'll have a video to show you how we can easily hand down dangerous food additives. And this is really important because it can really save you from eating junk food and having bad effect on your body to ruin all your progress because you ignore that some additives are in your food. In the meantime, I encourage you to check the labels on the back of the products that you are consuming. Ideally, the sugar content should be lower than the protein content. Moreover, if the product contains more than 60% of carbohydrates and sugar combined, then run. The food industry is crafty. They know how to mask the presence of sugar in their products with misleading labels. The sugar can be hidden under unpronounceable names, ridiculously small portions to appear light, by example. Everything is fair game to trick you. When you buy cereals that says each servings has only 90 calories, you think it's okay. But if the serving is so small that even a newborn wouldn't be satisfied, then it is clearly a scam. And what about the brands of spread that claim that one slice cover x percent of your daily recommend intakes this is also a phenomenal scam all what your body gets from this snack are calories and empty calories without proteins vitamins minerals or good fats they are what you want to avoid this is even the root cause of obesity they are so clever that they take their flows and manage to spin them so you think it's good for you if that is not diabolical, I don't know what it is. As a conclusion, my friends, I hope this brief dive into the sweet world has opened your eyes. The topic is far from being complete because otherwise this video would be way too long, but if it helps you to improve your understanding, then it has achieved its goal. Sugar is everywhere, but with a little vigilance and knowledge, we can make healthier choices for ourselves and our planet. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe for more health tips and advices. And remember, a healthy mind and a healthy body parts with what is on your plate. If you want more information, you can also go in the description of the video and just join in our free program called Coach Corner, where you will find plenty of information about everything in fitness. It is our free fitness hub. Nutrition, fitness and health tips. All are waiting for you. And in the meantime, I tell you, see you in the next video.